Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tatiana, the Domestic Design Diva, and welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Anyway, I don't, it's not like going to be a new thing. I just like doing it. I don't know why. Anyway, so this is actually what I'm going to be DIYing or whatever today. Hopefully, it turns out great. If it does not, you won't see this video. So, I've seen a lot of people um, taking, like, you know, the. I'm gonna call them platters platters and they're taking them and like you know putting them on the counter you know putting your their utensils and all this different type of stuff in it and the platters are pretty freaking expensive like I actually was gonna get one from hearth and hand and it was $29 and I was not in the mood to be paying $29 for a freaking platter to look all Pinteresty and stuff so what I did is I decided to find the best option. I was I didn't I wasn't even looking for this item. I was looking for something else. I was actually in TJ Maxx and I was like, oh my god, this was on sale. It was on sale for $12.00. Twelve dollars. It was on sale for twelve dollars, and I got this. The only difference is, or the, the I guess you could say problem is this big gaping hole. But that really doesn't matter because I can just put like my um utensil holder on top where you won't see it but actually it's like a dish that you like put sauce or something in and then this is like the bowl or whatever that goes inside of it but i won't be using that so we can throw that out okay so now what i'm going to do is start the diy so i want to take these and put them on here like as handles i was just going to um like screw them in but i would have to screw through all all of this and I don't have time for that so my next solution was E6000 glue and E6000 glue came to my head because everybody on YouTube uses it. every single person I know that's a DIYer E6000 E6000 so I'm like okay I'm gonna try the E6000 glue hopefully it works for this project because I'm going to be holding this and this is not heavy but it is sturdy so you need something sturdy to hold it together so all you're going to need for this, you know, video is you're going to need two of these little things, drawer pulls. You're going to need the actual thing you're putting it on, which is this drawer pull. You can do this with pretty much anything, too. I saw um, a platter at, um, it was a marble platter. I was thinking about getting it, but then I was like, I don't want marble and marble clashing, and I really like wood, so I was like, I think this is the best one. You're also going to need your E6000 glue and some tape to hold it all together and hopefully it stays. So what I'm going to do first is take these little stickers off like these two right here that's on there because obviously we don't need this no more. This is mine. I own it now. Bring it down with some peony. So what you're going to do first is measure where you want these little poles to be. So this one we can do it right here with the edge. This is looking good. Right across from it. You can use a measuring tape or whatever, but I'm not in the all that right now. So maybe I won't use one. So this looks good, but I'm just gonna play around with it and see what I like. Stuff on there. 
okay? So I'm just going with it, guys. I'm committing. But now what I'm gonna do. That is how I'm doing it. Hopefully this E6000 stays and this platter turns out great. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment down below of any videos you want me guys. You want me to make anything you guys want to see. Um and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.